So what a fantastic way to celebrate International Nurses Day today. We've got nurses, midwives, we've got our AHP colleagues and really this is about the family of the NHS. So that's what we're really keen to celebrate today. We've got the launch of our nursing, midwifery, AHP and technical staff strategies. And we've got speakers that are coming down, national speakers and regional speakers to join us. But what I'm really looking forward to is hearing from our own staff about what they're doing in practice here at the Royal Bournemouth. It's going to be a great day. This is a big launch for us and it's very much about collaborative working for us today. I think they'll feel really proud, uh, proud to be working at the Royal Bournemouth and Christchurch Hospital, proud that we have um, come on a really long journey, that we've got a really good integrated uh, and collaborative plan for the future um, and that we're all working together to improve care for our patients. The greatest determinant of how care is delivered are the people in the room and we've really got to get behind the staff so that from our point of view and from their point of view we're doing everything possible to allow them to flourish as allied health professionals, as nurses and as midwives. Well we'll be doing a lot of work at the day hospital implementing changes and seeing how we fit in with the larger organisation and this kind of conference really brings everything together so that we can understand how we can work with our colleagues and together we're definitely stronger. It's always good to speak and to like reflect about all the other things that we could still do and is everything, every time we have a lot of things to improve. So this is uh, the best way to, I think, to reflect and think about that and improve after that. I came today because it's obviously National Nurses Day. I'm very proud of being a nurse. I've always been a nurse ever since I was what, five I wanted to be a nurse. Um, and I felt it was nice to be honoured by the staff, the, uh, the leaders and higher to show that they, know, they actually do feel and they know what we're going through and the changes that we need and that we have had done and we've had to put up with. Well, just to see what's going on, I'm really interested in Allied Health Professional, how, how they're working together. I want to do, um, do a bit of networking, go, get to know some of the people that I've never actually seen or spoken to. So just to see what happens, really. I was really interested in hearing the collaborative working and the plans for AHPs moving forward and how we can work with the nurses to provide better care for the patients in the trust. I'm really lucky, I already work in an integrated therapy team so I work very closely with my OT and um, therapy colleagues and we've seen the benefits of that for providing patient care but also from a job satisfaction point of view. So that just needs to be extended throughout the trust is my, is my feeling and the collaborative working will really have an impact. I've learnt lots of things, mainly about the difference leadership can make and the changing culture that we can do and how that is a collaborative working for the whole hospital. Oh, very important. Um, being a cardiac research nurse, I have to depend on radiographers, physios to help me with my patients. So um, they, we are all one the same, really. I think that's how it is. But it's fundamental. We actually care for patients in teams. And I think there are very few things, aside from parts of community practice and outpatients, where we see people on our own. So actually to celebrate the work that we actually do together and the contribution that we make for patients together is absolutely fundamentally important. I hope people go away feeling really invigorated, feeling up for the challenge that lies ahead, and demonstrating a real passion to improve care and deliver as high a quality care as they can for our patients. Amazing, really good, really interesting, really some of the things that you don't actually hear about, political finances and that sort of things, you never actually hear about that, so it's quite nice to have someone like Suzanne who came from here in HS England and spoke to us about all that and I actually had the opportunity to go and speak to her in person uh, and just talk about some of my, uh, what were the opportunities for occupational therapists uh, specifically in the future, so that was very interesting. Well, I've learnt a lot of things today, but I would like to focus on what was said about leadership. And I thought there were some really good examples came out about how we can all take ownership and how it's all of our responsibility to ensure that we do the right thing and that care is good. And I want to take that back. So it's quite nice to know that you're involved with some of the, the work that's going on nationally and that we're actually implementing some of those things within the Trust. I really enjoyed the, all the topics and especially this is my first time to come and to see this conference for Special Nurses Days. Yeah, we don't spend enough time together and kind of giving each other enough love so this has been really nice to celebrate it as a, as a group. Takeaway, uh, maybe definitely the people that I have worked with and also uh, applying a bit more collab collaborative approach uh, and just working together as a team and obviously patients focus, get, you know, and taking every opportunities that come uh, our way and uh, make positive impact on our patients.
care. I'm going to definitely feed back to the team um, and I'm going to start kind of embedding some of those ideas into the future practice that we're making and some of the strategies we're doing within the acute therapy team. I hope that they will feel uh, infused, positive and with lots of thoughts to take things forward for the future. Well, I think it's been really successful. We've had a really good turnout from all of the staff groups, uh, really good interaction, lots of really good questions, and I think it's been really successful and everybody seems really engaged and positive about our future. Now that we've got our strategies written down, developed collaboratively, launched collaboratively, we've got the path ahead well set out. Um, I think we've got the energy, drive, and enthusiasm, and engagement to, um, to follow that journey.